Hi again, YouTubers. So this is a review on a product that I purchased a little while ago. And if you follow my vlogs or you follow my haul videos, you'll kind of see some back and forth about this. And it is the By Terry Terribly Denseless and it is Wrinkle Control Serum Foundation Firming Perfector. And this is what it looks like. This is the bottle. It comes in a glass bottle with a very nice pump to it. I will insert a clip here of how I applied this. Now, I have tried this a couple different ways. This is what I have on right here. Um, and I like this best with the Beauty Blender. I find with this product, the consistency of it and the way it kind of absorbs if you use a brush, it kind of absorbs too much. It's not bad, but the Beauty Blender just seems to really, really, really make it just flawless, I guess. It's silly. I know my skin isn't flawless, but you know what I mean. Like, it makes it very even, very distributed properly, just very nice. Um, I need two pumps of this to do my whole face and down my neck. Um, this is the color... Number four, I originally, and it's called Natural Beige. I had originally gotten, I think it was either two or three. Sorry, I forget. I shipped it back. Um, and I think it was called Ivory Beige. And it was just way, way, way too light. So then I got this one. And I'm kind of back and forth about it. If you see in the clip, it's not quite the same color as my neck. But the next color up that everyone is telling me might match me is seven which seems, by looking at the swatches online, you can buy this at beauty.com, I will link it below, seems extremely darker than, ex way darker than this one here. Um, so this one I do make work. I find it does look nice. Um, I use some bronzer and things like that and it really warms it up. Um, I will put a pump of it here, just a very little bit of a pump. Um, on the back of my hand, if you can see it right there, this is what it looks like. And I'll blend it in. It looks really pretty blended in and it's just smooth. It smells amazing. I can't even put my finger on it. It just, it really smells great. If you do not like a scented foundation, this one is not going to be for you. It does have an extremely smooth feel. It does match my hand perfectly. My chest always, if you can see the difference even here, it's not dramatically different, but my chest and my hands are always slightly different. I think a lot of that has to do with how much I wash my hands, um, especially with the little one who, you know, is always washing his, every time he washes his hands, I end up washing mine to help him. And every time I wash my hands, I wash my hands. So it's kind of crazy. Um, but this just feels amazing on the skin. Now, I've gone back and forth about it because here's my thing is, I love the results I get when I'm wearing it. When I'm putting it on, I'm not wowed by it, but as it wears, it actually looks better as it wears than when you originally put it on, which is the complete opposite of what normally happens with a foundation, for me at least. Like usually it just looks better when I put it on. I don't know, it's so hard to explain. It has a beautiful, beautiful, like satin almost finish. It's not matte and it's not dewy. It's more on that satin line. Um, I do set it with a little bit of powder, not a whole lot, just a little bit, very loosely down the T-zone mostly, honestly. Um, and I find that it really does look good. If I had the perfect color, I would have no problem being like, this is awesome. I'll buy a ton of them anytime I run out, you know? But it's $115 and I have to add bronzer and I mean I wear bronzer anyway so really is that that bad. I just have to put on other products to get it to match exactly and then once it, once it matches exactly I'm like wowed by it like I absolutely love it. So it's really hard if this and it's so weird if this was $75 I would totally have no issue with that. Why is that? Why does that happen? Because Guerlain, let's say, is like around the $70 mark, right? And I have no problem buying two colors in that. But this one, for some reason, it's because it's $115. It's over that $100 mark that I just go, oh, and I like choke on it when I do it. Plus, it's not the easiest thing to get a hold of. You do have to order it through beauty.com. Um, I did ship the one back. I will say this is, um, it is a very long return process. I shipped the one back. Like I had only had it like a week and I knew the color was totally wrong for me. So I shipped it back um, after I used it twice and tried to make it work. Um, 
and then talked to some people and they told me number four was the right one. Um, so I shipped it back, they got it, and I got this email saying, oh, you could, we got it back, great, thanks so much, we're processing your return. It was a week ago and I haven't seen the credit hit my account yet, so that's kind of weird. Um, I'm funny about ordering things from places that I don't normally order from. Um, Nordstrom Sephora, fine, easy, no problem, but um, just beauty.com, I don't know. So far, I, I'm not, I haven't had a bad experience, but I'm just kind of like, it's not the most speedy either. Um, and it takes a little bit to get here, and I'm in Maryland, I don't know where they ship from, but it does take a little bit to get here. You know, we want that instant gratification. Um, so I really love the finish of this. I love the way my skin feels, I love the way my skin looks, but at price point, it just gets me, and plus the fact that I have, I do have to work with it to make it look exactly how I want it to look. I don't know. It's very, very difficult. Here's my way of looking at it, I guess, is the best way to put this is, do I like it? Yes. Will I keep it? Yes. Will I buy another one? Probably not, which I'm really bummed about that. But it is what it is. I tend to add a squirt of another foundation to it sometimes, or if, as I do with most foundations that are too light for me, I have the Paracone MD No Bronzer Bronzer, and I put a drop or two of that into a product if I need it to be a little bit darker. So I like it. I will use it. I will say I won't use it every day. I will use it more on those special occasions where I don't mind doing that little bit of extra step, kind of, you know, adding the bronzer in the right places and making sure it matches exactly. Um, I always would rather have a foundation that's a little bit lighter than a little bit darker, or too dark, I'm sorry. Um, number seven just scares me, I'm not gonna lie. I just think that's gonna be way too far out there um, as far as that goes. Um, as I said, you can buy it at beauty.com. Um, I do think it's very pretty. Um, it is a good coverage. I would say it is a medium buildable coverage. If you have some spots, you'll see me kind of go back over those spots and touch up where I feel like needed some extra product. It is not streaky. It blends amazingly. Um, it blends amazingly with a brush too. Um, I use my Marc Jacobs, the angled one, the face two, I think it used to be called. My numbers and letters are all worn off. Um, this brush, the one like that from Marc Jacobs that has the angle to it. Um, you can buy this at Sephora, but it works beautifully with that brush. It's just the fact that I feel like the brush absorbs more of the product than the Beauty Blender does, which is unusual for me with this for some reason. The consistency of it works well with a Beauty Blender um, as far as not soaking up the product. And I just, I can still smell it on my Beauty Blender. Um, it just is the best way for me to apply it um, I did try it with my fingers one day. I wasn't impressed with it, but I'm not impressed normally with using my fingers for applying foundation anyway. Um, so I really do like it. I think it is a decent coverage. I love the finish. That satin finish that just doesn't look dewy. It just makes you look glowy and healthy is awesome. It just, that is hands down the best part about this foundation. If you can find the exact color match for you, awesome. Um, I think they only have nine colors, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, so if you can find the right color, this stuff is just phenomenal. It blows everything else out of the water if you find the right color match. Maybe in the summertime I'll be seven and I'll try it that way. I don't know. We'll see. So let me give you a little bit of my breakdown here, as always. So pigmentation on this, I think the pigmentation is phenomenal. It really is what you see in the bottle. Like what you see in the bottle is what you get when you use it. Um, so it is it is true to the pigmentation that it is. So it's a good four and a half out of five. The texture is phenomenal. It's so smooth, so creamy, so nice. Five out of five. Longevity, I will say, as I've mentioned already, this stuff gets better as you wear it. I only ever had that happen with one other foundation. I forget what that was. I feel like it was my Shiseido Sun Protection, but I'm not sure. Something. I don't know. I remember saying that once before, years and years ago. It is just great as far as longevity. It doesn't break up on my skin. It doesn't crease. It doesn't, fud of, it doesn't settle into fine lines speak a little there. Um, it doesn't settle into fine lines and it just really gives you this truly healthy glow. 
um, without looking oily. And I'm oily combination skin. It does not make me look oily. Application, I find it easy to apply. As I said, you can use a brush or a beauty blender, whichever you prefer. I just personally preferred the beauty blender with it. It's just how I like it. It just seems the most flawless and the most airbrushed uh, looking. Uh, packaging, it's gorgeous. It really is beautiful. It's a nice glass packaging, as I meant, mentioned. There is this, you know how uh, Gucci has those like crisscrosses? It kind of reminds me of that, but it says by Terry. Has a nice little thing. I will say the only thing when I got mine, let me see if it'll still do it. When I first got it, it might have been because it was cold. This silver part lifted up while the um, the actual white like pump below it stayed down, but that's not happening now, which is fine. I will say one thing I do like is you can unscrew the cap on this and like put it upside down and get all of the product out. That is a big downfall with the Guerlain. You cannot unscrew the tops that I have been able to figure out. So that is huge for me on that. So I really, really like the packaging. Good solid four and a half out of five. Price is ridiculous for a foundation. 115, that's insane. Insane, I think. I don't know why that's so insane to me, but it is, it really is. So price for me is a two out of five. That's just high. As much as I like it, I don't know. I might be singing a different tune. If I had the perfect color match, I might be like, it's worth it. But for me, it's a two. It's just, once I hit that $100 mark, I go, Ugh. so that's what it is. Product overall, I'm going to give this a good solid four out of five because I do love the finish. I do love the staying power. I do love the look of it. And I love the application. It's just the fact that I can't find the exact, exact color match for me because they are limited in colors, which happens to a lot of people with that girl on one that I love so much. A lot of people say to me, oh, I want to love it like you do, but I can't find the right color match. I'm kind of in that same boat mm -hmm. with this. I really, really want to love it, but I can't find the exact same color match. Um, and also the price. The price is just, it's exorbitant for a foundation. Like, that, that's crazy. It's just, mm -hmm. it is. I remember when I wouldn't spend more than, you know, $50 for a pair of shoes and I'm spending 115 on a foundation. Something to think about. So that is it. That is my review on the By Terry Terribly Denseless Wrinkle Control Serum Foundation Firming Perfector. Um, you guys tell me what you think of it on me. I don't know. What do you guys think? You look at it. You tell me what you think and Maybe I'll decide from there if I need another one. I don't know. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on what you see from when I applied it and from what you see now because I have had it on for a little bit over an hour now when you're seeing it. So let me know your thoughts, and uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and have a great day. Bye.